Nebraska at Purdue. Purdue is a 14-point favorite. Uh, total sits at 58.5. Of course, these numbers over at BetUS currently. Um, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time on the Big Ten Network. And let's go on and pull it up. Let's pull up the stats while I pull up the trends. And Nebraska, 2-5-1 and one against the spread in their last eight against Purdue. That's definitely not good. Nebraska, 1-6 and six against the spread in their last seven. Purdue, 4-1 and one against the spread in their last five conference games. There's not a lot of trends as far as Purdue goes. Uh, this number is 14. And Nebraska has not exactly played well, but Mickey Joseph has them uh, looking better than they did, for sure. Uh, my number on this which you can see on the screen, is Purdue minus three. Which is a little surprising. But I dove into it, and it's it's not like Purdue's offense is great. Now, they've played a really strong strength of schedule, and Nebraska has not. And I don't know that that necessarily matters. But <coughs> uh, we have got, let's see, PPA per rush. Uh, it still favors Purdue, number 83 to number 110 for Nebraska's defense. Uh, the passing game is where this thing could get sideways, right? Uh, passing success rate, number 52 for Purdue's offense. It's number 86 for Nebraska's defense. That's where it could get a little squirrely. And, and the Purdue defense is really good, especially against the run, which Nebraska does at a 52.5% clip. Um, I think when I look at it, even though my number is like really low on this, the and this is opponent adjusted. I'm a little surprised. Um, you know, screw it. I'm still going to go Purdue here. Uh, I think that Purdue needs one of these big wins where they can just kind of ride it out. Uh, it wouldn't surprise me, though, to see that. You know what? Screw it. Nope. I'm going to go Nebraska. <laughs> I'm going to go Nebraska plus the 14 here. Because I think that this is a prime spot for Nebraska to care about a ball game more than Purdue does, right? Purdue has bigger ambitions than this one. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'm going to look and see exactly who they play next. But I, I see this, and I think, you know, Nebraska really, really wants to stay in every game, et cetera. Purdue still has Aiden O'Connell banged up. Um, let's see. Da, 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 da. Yeah, Purdue's got at at Wisconsin next week. So Nebraska, on the other hand, has an off week. Uh, this seems like a good spot. I, I don't think Nebraska's going to win the game, but I do think that they can they can stay within fourteen. That's what I'm going to do. That's what, I like I like Purdue to win this game. I don't think that they're going to do like a, a A plus effort here. So give me. Give me Nebraska to cover 14. I just think it's too many points here because I do think that Nebraska can find something on offense and and be able to do at least a little something against that Purdue defense. Um, and then later, I mean, if it comes down to it, uh, you kind of be banking on a backdoor cover a little bit. But, eh, you know, you don't like to do that typically. But, hey, these are not my best bets. Those you can find over at the BetUS TV College Football Show. So go and check that out. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.